Hello and good afternoon. It's a lovely sunny day. Now um, we're starting in the top greenhouse. There's quite a few peppers in this greenhouse and in the bottom greenhouse. And in between the two there's quite a few tomatoes on the plants in the garden. So we need to harvest those as well. So it looks like this week it's going to be tomatoes and pepper harvest but I also want to show you how I'm taking the tomato plants out now and we need to top those potatoes up that we've got ready for winter just put a bit of compost on top we'll show you that when we get down there I don't think we'll have time to harvest the potatoes that we still got in the ground but what we should do is harvest them next in the week next week and film it and show you what we've got off that crop so first off we'll get these yellow peppers picked as you can see the good weather's brought them out and we really need to get them picked before they go soft and then we can get them frozen down for winter. If there's a little bit of green on them, I'm going to take them anyway. Not if there's too much like that one, we'll leave that one. But this one is fine. There's quite a few on this one, so we need to get them. Yeah, perfect. They've done very well this year, they were slow at first, but then they've all come together. They're quite good. Yeah, they're fine. We're actually going to clear this plant. Now, There is one more on there, so we'll need that to mature and we'll take that. What I shall do is, I'll pick my way along the line and show you what we've got. And there you are, that's a good harvest out of this green top greenhouse. I've already picked the tomatoes that were ready. I'm going to cut a couple of these cucumbers. As you can see, this they're still coming. That's that's a nice cucumber and that one at the back I think yeah. there's two so there you are there's three good cucumbers there if you look along here they're coming up the cucumber now is at least halfway across the screen now and they're still coming that just needs to fill its end up, whether it will or not, we'll have to wait and see. But these are all right, they're coming. There's some more back here as well. These tomatoes that are finished cropping, I've already done two. So, and I left two to show you what to do. I get my box ready. And because it's got the cucumber growing through it at the top, I have to take the top out carefully. So I'll do that first. I'm going to get them, I'll show you. To do. There you are, that's got it. And when, when I've got the, cute, the tomato down, I just cut it into sections and then it goes straight on the compost heap. Like this, look, you see. I take a section and just cut it with the secateurs. It's as quick to do this now as down at the compost bin. And if you cut them reasonably short, they rot down in no time at all and they're gone. And then next year, this will be back in the garden again. Here we are, look. And then I just cut the stem into sections. And take it off. Because I used jute string, 
the string can stay on, it'll rot down in the bin. They've done very well these. Sun gold, that's what they were. Crop well. Is that one done? I'll just do this one as well. I'll just cut it halfway. There's a few still on it, but they're not going to make it now. When you see what we've got outside, you can see why we can start clearing. What I do when I finish with the tomato, I take these pots down to the shed and I turn them out like a sandcastle and let the chicken sort them out. And it's amazing what a good job they do. And then I put the compost onto the garden and dig it in in the winter when I dig. It also keeps the chickens quiet for quite some time. So we dip down to the bottom greenhouse and pick the bullhorn peppers and believe it or not some more yellow ones. We're going to have a lot of peppers today. Uh, we've, we've made our way down to the bottom greenhouse. Now as you can see the bullhorn has really ripened up this last week so we will need to get them picked. So we'll start at this end and work our way along. Now if there's any with a little bit of dark on them, I'm going to take them. That's, that'll soon disappear out of them. Not so much that one, a little bit of green still to go. I think it's this last week of sunshine that's really brought them through, although it's time it was ready. I'll just take these two with you and then I'll go down the line and I'll pick them. As you can see the lovely peppers and very very sweet bullhorn. I'll go down the line and get them picked and then We'll pick the yellows. That's the peppers out of this bottom greenhouse. There's uh, just uh, three of the King of the North come through. There's still quite a few still to come. And there's still quite a few yellows in here as well. Now that's quite a good pepper pick. Let's go and top these potatoes up. It's getting a bit warm in here. These are those five pots of potatoes we put in for the winter. They're short, they're called Charlotte and I just want to top them up, especially this one, with some more compost. I had quite a job to get some compost but I found some in eventually. It's not quite what I wanted but it will do. So we'll just go and top round And then when I water them tomorrow, it will settle them down. I think that will do that one for now. We might have to do it again when the compost drops a little. But these other ones, looking at them, that one will take a little bit, so we'll put some in there. 
not quite ready yet but they'll we'll top them up a little I'll just put it in then I'll spread it about let's have a look what we can do Bit more in that one. There you are. There you are. I can always bring some more down. Just gently press it. They'll soon. Uh, They'll soon sort themselves out and get going. Now, if you can remember, we was moving those tomatoes out of the top greenhouse. As it gets colder, I should put these in that greenhouse. And if there's a lot of cross, I'll just put a double fleece over them just to protect them till they're ready. And once they're ready, frost protect them and they can stop in there until we want to use them. Now the outdoor tomatoes we've already picked some and I'll pop that in for you to see what the harvest we got from the sweet corn. Now it's Monday morning and we've been down and harvested and we brought the camera this time so we can show you what we actually harvested. As you know we were fetching the sweet corn there's still quite a few to do but that's enough for now the tomatoes remember they're slightly underripe to avoid the pigeons taking them and then we've got the the blackberries and the raspberries there's still a lot of raspberries to come and blackberries to come now when we harvested the tomatoes last time i came down afterwards and I took quite a few of the leaves off to get some air through them as you can see there's quite a few now ready for picking again and the plum tomatoes I took a lot of their leaves off as well they started to ripen up quite well so I've one more row to do on there I'll probably do that this afternoon As you can see they're, they're quite good tomatoes. We'll pick them and put them in a box and show you what we've got. Here's the tomatoes that we've harvested. Some of them aren't quite ripe but that's because of the pigeons so we're writing those in the house. There's uh, plum and normal tomatoes in there. There's quite a few. This is the second pick we've had this week. There is a courgette ready, only one this week, but we'll take it while we're here. There you are. That's a nice courgette, isn't it? There's only one today. There'll be another one in two days. And the, the leeks we've grown under the mesh for the leek moth and there's one or two that are really getting quite large now so we'll start taking them the thing is we'll take one or two today and see what they're coming like it's in well if I can get it Let's go. Have a look what we got. Oh, I'm just going to take one more leak because 
they look like good I think we'll have to I'm going to take this one I think looking through them they're all much the same but that's got a, a nice thick base to it so we'll take that one out and see what it's like Oh. It's coming up now. It's a good job we got the steel handle fork. As I don't think we would have got them out. That's excellently. I try and leave the soil behind if possible. Nice leak. We'll take it up to the tank and give it a wash and then show you what they like. As you can see, they've done very well under this mesh this year. Little bit of rust on it, but that's, that's negotiable. And just a short video this week for you, but we've harvested quite a bit and we've got the potatoes topped up and the tomatoes started to be removed so we've done all right just let me show you what we've i'll just show you what we've harvested these are the red peppers there's king of the north and the bullhorn in there quite nice very sweet those peppers there's also a courgette there we was lucky just to have the one this week a few tomatoes now they mix there's actually plum ordinary and then the small sweet ones the cucumbers we finished up with three obviously two of those will be given away the yellow bell peppers obviously one or two of those will be given away as well done very very well this year i'm very pleased with them and of course the leeks, two leeks that will last us this week and they look absolutely beautiful, very very clean to say they've been grown under the mesh. Now that will be it for this week, a short video this week but quite a lot of harvesting. Now next week we will do, we need to get that rhubarb cleaned up and we'll look at stringing the onions i've nearly finished cleaning them and so they'll be ready by then we'll string those next week thank you for watching many many thanks for subscribing we do appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you next week take care now bye